Yo, what do my party people's beeps here back again for another video and today we're going to talk about uni. You know, I love talking about uni. Um, I know a lot of you must have seen my graduation picture. I graduated on Thursday, the 10th of September. And so yeah, I just figured that I should share my wisdom of uni with you guys that are about to start uni. And I'm just going to give you a couple tips. So let's get. So, tip number one. If you have a girlfriend or boyfriend, dump them from now in it. I'm just helping you out. It may sound bad, mine, but trust me, I've been there. I've done that. I've got the t-shirt. It's not, it's not advised to have a boyfriend or girlfriend in uni. From my personal experience, it didn't work out because they were still in college and I was in uni. And obviously when you're in uni, you get consumed in uni life. You're meeting new people, you're doing fun things. And you don't really have time to always call up. They felt like I was neglecting them. I felt like from the bad experience that I had in uni anyway, the moments when I was having fun, I wanted to have fun, you know, it was like a breath of fresh air that now that I was meeting people and having friends and all of that. So my relationship suffered. If you can think you can handle it, thumbs up for you. But I would just get rid of them. And that's no disrespect to my ex. I know the biggest concern for a lot of you is meeting new people and how am I going to make new friends? I don't know nobody. But I've, once again, I've been there, I've done that. I went there, didn't know anyone in uni. Um, you just got to put yourself out there. And you also have to remember that all the other freshers are pretty much in the same boat as you. You might have a couple people that may know a couple people from their college and da 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 but you have to also remember that when you come to uni, a lot of people just, they don't care about their old bridges anymore, they want to make new ones. So everybody is going to be more open-minded. Just go up to people, start talking to them. If there's somebody that you want to talk to, go up to them and talk to them. If you don't know how to talk to them, just fake conversation. I did this loads of times in first year. You sometimes, oh, oh, uh, where are you going? You're going to get your ID card. Oh, can I come with you? Because I don't even know where I'm going. Like, this place is so big, I get lost all the time. Like, I was trying to go find the toilet, ended up in the middle of a lecture. You know, just, just make something up and sometimes be funny with it. Like, I definitely just made that up on the spot. You can make stuff up on the spot. You just got to believe in yourself. And if you want to be friends with that person, you're going to have to just fake it till you make it, you know what I mean? Or if you're not the person that can, you know, fake a conversation, just ask them questions. So after you've been like, oh, you go to get the ID card or whatever, or, you know, you're in the queue for the ID cards and stuff, oh, like, where are you from? Like, where are you, are you from London? Oh, you're not. Where do you study? Where do you live in whatever uni you're going to? Do you know what I mean? Like, just ask them questions and just form conversations and you know how humans are you trail off into something else something happens and they feel comfortable talking to you about it you know ask them if they're going to that rave tonight you know just 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 talk like don't be shy don't you know a lot of people are scared because they don't want to be begs or whatever but you can either think like that and have no friends and be by yourself and lonely or you can be a beg and have loads of friends and be fun and have the best uni experience. Another piece of advice on where to meet people, um, for freshers, um, from my uni, they did a lot of like, they had like a freshers week and they did like loads of fairs and events and dumb little shit like treasure hunts. Like I never went to none of the treasure hunts, um, but they did like freshers fairs where you can meet all the stuff that's going on in uni and um, societies and stuff. And societies are your best bet on where to meet people because you'll find groups of people who are just like you. For example, if you're black, join the ACS. It's a no-brainer. It's the African Caribbean Society. Most of you're black, you're gonna be African or Caribbean or somewhere in the middle. If you wanna meet some more black people, join the ACS and actually join it. No, just go to the events, but join it, get involved in like the street teams, do stuff like the big clash. You know, there's a lot of uni stuff to do. Um, if you're not black, there's also like Chinese societies, there's LGBT societies, there's somewhere for everybody. Alternatively, if you're not really much of a society kind of person, raves. They're actually the best place to meet people because everyone's gonna be drunk, especially in Freshers' Week. I personally probably met most of the people that I, that I met in uni from like Freshers' Week raves or just raving in general. You've got student loan in it. And I'm not saying blow all your student loan on dumb shit, but in Freshers' Week, it's okay to pay, maybe spend like 10 pounds on the, on the, in the club. You know, buy us a couple shots. Be like, you wanna come and take these shots with me? Brand person, come, let's go. You can't handle all these shots. Drinking challenges are always a good one because nobody wants to be a little pussy. Nobody wants to be a little bitch. So if you're gonna be like, yeah, I dare you to drink so and so down it, they're gonna be down for it. So when you're drunk, make sure you like get their numbers and stuff. 
um, be like, are you going to the rave tomorrow? And they'll probably be like, yeah. I'll be like, do you want to buck up? Let's have some pre-drinks. And you'll be like, yeah, fuck it. Let's go wild. You know, that's how you make friends. And it's uni. So everyone's more open in uni. It's not, it's not like going to a rave and ends and everyone's just all... Do you know what I mean? Like, it's not like that. People are more open in uni. Well, from my experience anyway. So obviously, the main reason you're at uni is to learn, right? My first piece of advice to you would be find out what first year means in your uni. Now, from my uni, it was I have to get 40% on every single module to pass the year, but the year also didn't get counted to my final degree. So if my grades were just all 40%, it didn't matter anyway. But because I did really well, I got all first and two ones, except for in the maths modules, which I barely passed. I was able to change my course from business and maths to business and marketing. If I hadn't done well, I wouldn't have been able to do that because I actually wasn't even supposed to be doing as many modules as I was. I did in second year, but because I had good grades, he was like, I think you could do it. Just don't shoot yourself in the foot and think, okay, I can just get 40% because you just don't know what's going to happen at the end of the year. You may want to do like year abroads and stuff and they're going to look at your history of grades. And that's why I got to go to California because it was the most subscribed uni that people wanted to go to, Long Beach. And I got in because I had mostly thirds, firsts and two ones. So get good grades. Um, how you're going to do that is you're going to have to make a couple sacrifices. It's not every rave that you can go to. There's some raves that you're going to have to miss. Like they give you this stuff pretty much in the first week. What, what your um, essay questions are going to be on or whatever course you do. But a lot of the time they give it to you in the first week. Well, from my experience, they did. They give it to you early. It's all in the syllabus. Read through it. Get yourself prepared. Be prepared. Like, do it from the moment you get it and it's done and you don't have to worry about it. You have so much time in uni. A lot of time. Even if you're working, you have a lot of time. Don't do what I did and wait till 12 hours before the deadline every single... I did it for the whole of uni and I still got 2-1. But I know myself and it worked. But for you, I don't know if that's good for you. You need to, you know, play it by ear. But I would say get it done in advance, the sooner the better, because then you don't have to worry about the raves. But I've seen people in the ray in um, the library pre-drinking whilst finishing their essays because they've got to get this essay done by 9 p.m. and then get ready to go to the rave. So they're pre-drinking and doing the essay. If you can't do that, then don't. Do you know what I mean? Like there's people who can do that and live that life and do and get first in that essay. But if you can't, you, know, you need to know yourself and don't try and copy what other people are doing because you'll end up just being in a shit situation you're paying nine grand a year don't you think that you should finish it in the time that you want to finish it and not have to pay more no or is that just or is, that, is that wild is that stupid i mean that you know nine grand a year is some money you know deep it it's like that's 27 grand my three years is worth one of your years are you like i would at least try and get some good grades in this bitch i know the jump from um sick form or college to uni can be a bit of a jump so in terms of like writing skills, I expect a bit more from you. So if you have any issues, speak to your lecturer, speak to your academic skills unit or equivalent. I don't know, most unis do have it. Um, talk to people who have been to uni. I mean, I'm always, like I always tell people, I'm more than welcome for you to ask me stuff on Twitter or Snapchat. Like I don't leave this stuff open and have my life all, you know, I'm not so easily accessible just for bands. I'm here to help you I can be like your uni guru if you want. If you're feeling upset or depressed or anything, you can talk to me. I guess I'm, I can give some advice or I can at least try and make you laugh. Don't just sit in uni upset, depressed and feeling down and lock yourself in the room. Because I, I did that in uni. I've been there, done that, also got that t-shirt. It's not fun, innit? It's, well, sad, innit? <laughs> like, and it then it affects your grades. Like, my final year grades weren't as good as they could have been, but if it wasn't for the fact that I'd done so well in my second year, I wouldn't have got my tier one because they that's that balanced out the crap grades in final year. Um, but yeah, don't don't just sit there in your sadness. Get help. A lot of unis do a lot of like counselling for like if you feel depressed or you feel like you're getting bullied or if there's anything going on in your life. Even if you are, even if you did decide to keep your girlfriend or boyfriend and uh, it's not going so well, like I told you, it wouldn't. Um, then you can go and talk to them about what you're going through. Don't just sit there in your sadness because it's only going to affect your grades. And like I said, you're paying nine grand a year. Don't waste it. And uh, my final piece of advice is have fun. But be smart and practice safe sex. You know, go, go wild, enjoy your time in uni. Because, you know, it will never be like that is what I'm learning now. Because life right now is fun. I can do what I want whenever I want to. But it's not, it's not, it's not that fun. Do you know what I mean? I have to work and people expect more from you and you need your students so people can people are just like oh well they're a student and da, 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 da. this is your time to do what you want is also your time to 
learn about yourself and explore and do things that you wouldn't have normally done when you were younger go wild innit just be smart with it use condoms don't get pregnant you know nobody has time for that have fun um i hope you enjoy your time in uni if you're not going to uni it doesn't matter don't feel like you can't take anything from this you this video because you can like talking to people thing if you like this video thumbs it up if you loved it favorite it share it on all them social networks um follow me on twitter snapchat instagram it's all v plus that and yeah if you want to see a more detailed account of my first year in uni you can check it out on my abandoned second channel which is uh, youtube.com slash vptv and yeah i'll be over there talking about how crap my first year was and it was sad and depressing but i made it through with a 2-1 so you can do it too like i do um yeah trust me if i can do it and i've been through a lot in uni you can do it too in it just have fun live life and prosper and i'm out this bitch peace <laughs>